Hello to all my friends that are listening to this broadcast today. I, it's so great to be with you today. I want you to know I love you and I thank God for you today. I want to talk to you about Elijah the prophet. He is found in uh, 1 Kings chapter 16 is where I'm going to talk to you from today. And uh, Israel had fallen into a real despairing situation. Uh, miracles had happened in the life of Elijah before this happened, but the prophets of God had been hid, and there was not, there was a, been, between Ahab and Jezebel, there was a sad thing going throughout the land. But God's going to raise up a man who's going to come against this force of evil that was trying to invade the land. In 1 Kings chapter 16 and verse number 20 long, all Israel had been gathered together. All of them were together to be able to do things that uh, he had requested. Elijah had requested all of the men and all the people of Israel come together and we're going to have a meeting on the top of Mount Carmel. And he, when he approached that time, he said, how long will you have two opinions? If it's either God, you need to serve him. If it's Baal, you need to serve him. And he challenged the people there to make a decision whether you're going to follow the Lord or not. And so he requested that they have two bullocks, and one of them was to be dressed out, uh, the other one cut in pieces, and they were laid up on wood up on the altars. And then there was water put in, I believe, five times they put in the wood. And uh, anyway, Elijah got everyone together and said, uh, let your God do what he can do. And they worked all day that day trying to get Baal to answer their prayers, but they didn't hear a word. And they cut themselves and everything else because they were deceived to somewhat that they felt like they had uh, their God was not answering them. Elijah says, now I'm going to show you what God can do. And he called fire down from heaven and fire. The altars had been broken down at this point in, the, in this uh, ministry. They had been broken down, but they were going to be rebuilt because the fire of God fall from, fell from heaven and consumed all the sacrifices. Uh, and all of a sudden, uh, God answered their prayer by answering it in a miracle soul performing through the hands of Elijah. What a great prophet he was. He had been in the widow's house. Uh, he had been uh, telling them it's not going to rain for three years. Uh, he had been through a lot of things with them. And now he challenges all them and a great debate on the top of Israel said, if it's God, serve him. And oh, folks, I want to tell you, we need to serve God today with all of our heart. We need to worship the Lord. Uh, in the spite of all the things that are going on nowadays today, we need to worship the God in all our heart and all of our soul and with all of our mind. And so when the fire came from heaven, it, it consumed all the sacrifices, the sacrifices, the altars that had been broken down and rebuilt. Uh, and all of a sudden, uh, the 450 Baal worshipers, uh, Israel took them out and, and got rid of them and they no longer existed and the enemy had been defeated. Uh, I want to tell you, we've been invaded by an enemy in America today that's trying to tear down our culture, trying to ta take down everything that... Our relationship with God stands for our Christian heritage, our American heritage, and everything that stands for. It's time for us to stand for and make a choice. We've got a choice between God and the devil. I've made my choice a long time ago. I want to serve the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. I believe in the Jesus that gave himself on Calvary for all of us. I believe that he lives forever today, and I thank God for that. I tell you what, no matter what's happening to you during this time, remember that God be for you, then who can be against you? God has got a great army of believers uh, around the world. There's angels surround us. The Holy Spirit is with us. Uh, he's given us direction in this time as we go forward in our life. We need to trust him with all of our heart and lean not to our own understanding, 
every way we need to do acknowledge Him, and He will direct our paths. I want to challenge you today and remember Elijah, the great prophet. God sent him along in a time where it was very dark and darkness around the land, but God always has a man. He's going to raise up people today nowadays to take the leadership roles to bring this nation back to God. And let's pray with all of our heart that that happens soon in Jesus' name. And I thank you so much for listening to the broadcast. I love you so much, and we will talk to you again soon.